Hello. You're listening to Triple J with the Doctor. And already today, we have had renamed eyeballs. We've had Australia's youngest mortician talking about doing up dead bodies. And now we're going to delve into even a darker subject. A band from the Gold Coast who went to Malaysia on tour, but they didn't get very far because they were arrested for Satanism. <laughs> And on Triple J, you've uh, you've probably heard stories of Australian bands going overseas. They they get in a little bit of trouble. They might get busted by the cops for for public uh, drunkenness, for, for urinating on sacred objects, for uh, maybe for drugs or for violence. Um, but uh, rarely do you hear about Australian bands that go overseas and get arrested for things such as um, well Satanism or uh, stuff like that. I have on the line from uh, Gold Coast bands, The Wrath and Kill the Apprentice. Uh, hello there, Tommy Creeper. How you going? Good night, how you doing? I'm all right. Now, you, you know, uh, you're one of your bands, Kill the Apprentice. Uh, you guys went on tour to Malaysia, which is pretty cool. I don't think a lot of Australian bands get to go to Malaysia. Yeah, we did. We did. We went over there for a two-week tour, six shows, uh, you know, two weeks in Malaysia and Singapore. Awesome. Now, uh, that's that all sounds very good, but uh, obviously by the intro to this story, things didn't go quite as you would hoped. No, we didn't. Uh, we didn't realise, you know, over there they're pretty strict on it all and... Yeah, at the first show, about to walk on stage and the police raided the uh, venue, detained the whole venue and we got locked up. Yeah, um, what, did they say anything? Like, what, what, how, how, far into the, how far into the song were you? We were literally about to walk on stage. Really? Yeah. And, and so uh, how many people were in the crowd? Um, it was a small venue and it was just bursting at the seams. There was probably about 200 people there, 150 people. I think about... 150 people were detained. Wow. Um, and uh, what reasons did the uh, Malaysian police give? Well, there was no reason really given, but uh, when we were in the jail, there was police crew, uh, sorry, TV crews and all that sort of, and, you know, reporters reporting what had happened and the police were on TV telling everybody how good a job they'd done dismantling a satanic black metal show. <laughs> <laughs> so well, wait a second. Now I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people haven't uh, listening may, may not may not have heard Kill the Apprentice. I have. I wouldn't necessarily classify you guys as black metal. No, we're, it was it was so far from the truth. You know, it was no violence. Everyone was having a great time. Just punk rock bands. Um, you know, it was one of the funnest shows I was ever been at. It was great. Yeah, and and uh, and so the other bands playing, there was no Burzum weren't there, Mayhem weren't there, no. Can Euronymous didn't make an appearance. No, no, it was all just straight up punk rock, everyone having a good time. Wow, and so uh, you, you, you got arrested, you and you, you, the whole band Kill the Apprentice, and 150 people from the crowd. Yep. Um, what happens when you get arrested in Malaysia? Oh, they pretty much stormed the venue, it was all plainclothes police, they blocked off all the exits and split the crowd into two, men one side, women the other side, let us out the front door and there was just two big massive police trucks ready to go. They locked us in, into those trucks, driven us away to the police station and then just gone through every person, uh, you know, to take all our ID, wrote numbers on us and sat us down for a good eight hours. We all had to do urine drug tests. and Wrote numbers on you? Yeah, everyone is numbered and, you know, you wait for your number to be called and you don't say a word, otherwise there's trouble. Um, how did you know that there'd be trouble if you if you made a no made a noise? Well, you know there was guys piping up and you know trying to act like they didn't really care. You know they're walking around with big cane batons. Wow! Did, did you yeah. see anyone get hit? We didn't see anyone get hit, but we definitely saw a lot of people, you know, getting intimidated by the police. Man, that's uh, I'm talking to Tommy Creeper from Kill the Apprentice, a band who just uh, toured um, uh, toured Malaysia recently and before the first note, before you even walked out on stage, got arrested by uh, the cops along with a hundred few people in the crowd um, for putting on a black metal gig. Now, um, they're on triplejonearth.com. You can check them out. Here is a song by Kill the Apprentice. Let us know if you think it's black metal or not. On Triple J, that's the Devil's Pride. Now, uh, now, Tommy, uh, from the band Kill the Apprentice, who we just heard, the Devil's Pride there, uh, the song is called the Devil's Pride. It's not necessarily black metal, though. <laughs> no, definitely not. We're not a black metal band. Yet, st yet still, when you were in uh, Malaysia, um, before you even played your first note of your first show, you got arrested. 
ostensibly for being a black metal band. I noticed on TripleJUnearth.com, it does mention in the, in the, the bio, Kill the Apprentice can now lay claim to being the devil's pride of their stomping grounds of the southern Gold Coast. Do you think maybe like the Malaysian government or immigration or whoever just did a quick search on your name and found the word devil? Uh, I don't think so. I think they view all subcultures there as something that they're not really keen to have around. So, yeah. so this, so this first gig that you played uh, that you didn't get to play was like an underground um, punk rock show. But the second gig was a properly organised gig. Yeah, it was a uh, independent music festival, heaps of different bands of all t- types of genres, and uh, in a, in a really big venue in KL. And um, same thing happened just before about to walk on stage. The came up and said, you know, the police are here. By that time, everyone had heard about what had happened at our first show and uh, pretty much recommended us to uh, get the hell out of there. So it was a really weird situation where you really want to play, but um, wow. you recommended, yeah, to get out, you know, because who knows what will happen. You know, the police can do what they want, you know, even though we didn't have drugs or that sort of thing. So you, was, you were there for eight hours um, being held by the cops. Did you, yep. like, you must have, uh, you know, had a chance to have a chat to some of the local people in that eight hours. Yeah, they were, um, you know, they're all, it's the norm over there. They're all looked, Lots of people have been uh, put in jail. You can be put in jail over there for suspicion. So a lot of people have spent time in jail. So they're used to it. it that's how their life is. Did you did you get to play any music at all while you were in Malaysia? Yeah, we got to do three shows out of the six. Yeah. And without cops turning up? Uh, without cops turning up, yeah. We did uh, two in Singapore and we did have one in Malaysia in a city called Johor. And we were a bit undecided about doing it, you know, because we just pretty much had to cut our losses and go. But uh, mm. on the day, we decided to go and do it, and we beat the police. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you, you beat the police to the gig? We beat the police before they could detain us. We played and got out of there. Do you know, do you know if they were sort of, uh, you know, rushing in the door after you guys had left or something? When we were leaving the venue, there was police wandering around and trying to sort out, you know, what was going on in this building. Man, this is, uh, you know, uh, I'm talking to Tommy Creeper from Kill the Apprentice, not a black metal band, not a, a, a Satanist band yet, um, uh, being arrested for that in Malaysia. Are there plans to go back to Malaysia, you know, now that you're back safely in Australia? Um, I think there's a lot more other places we need to tour before we go back there. Very good point, wow. Yeah. That is nuts. And um, uh, have you got any uh, gigs in Australia or on, uh, on local shore where you're probably not going to get arrested? Yeah, we do. We've got our show coming up on the uh, 7th of August at the Neverland in Coolangatta, and i um, pretty sure we'll be making it down to uh, Sydney and Melbourne way shortly. Cool. Well, uh, with any luck, you will make it through those shows without getting arrested and without having to uh, give urine samples and uh, be lined up for eight hours at a time with numbers drawn on you. <laughs> That is amazing. Hey, uh, Tommy Creeper, thank you very much for talking to Triple J today. Uh, Kill the Apprentice are up on triplejunearth.com. Just good luck, man. Stay safe. Yeah, thanks very much. (laughs)